So this is why we have to stay inside because I don't know if you guys could see it. It is snowing <laughs> right now. It was just like 50 degrees the other day. Yeah. And now I don't know if you guys could see it through the window, but it, it is coming down. It's snowing. What's going on, guys? So pretty cold out today. I'm going to open up the garage. Uh, I have to move the Duke 890R back because Cam's going to be bringing in his Dyna. Let's get that taken care of. I got the bikes on a battery tender. Cam's waiting over here patiently. Hey, and huge shout out, huge, huge thanks to all you guys that oh, actually yeah, went you. over and uh, he's almost got what, 700 yeah, subscribers? Yeah, we just hit 700 last night. Oh, you did hit yeah. it? Yeah. Nice. Thank you guys for all your positive comments. You guys are really supportive. I Aren't they? You. you guys are awesome, man. Thanks so much for showing uh, Cam a lot of love. Nice, nice comments. I read all of them. A lot of nice comments. Uh, subscribers. I really do appreciate it. That's awesome. Anytime I make a video on Cam's bike, head over to his channel if you guys want to see a more in-depth view. I'm just going to kind of go over what we're going to do. He'll show you how it's done. Oh, yeah. And what else? I got a couple updates. So before I tell you guys the updates, let me move the Duke 890R back and Cam's going to roll his bike in. And then I'll let Cam tell you what we're going to do to his bike. All right. Let's move this puppy back. It's about 30 degrees out here in New Jersey. It's supposed to be pretty cold for the next couple days. Before we get into this video, um, I wanted to show you something pretty cool. Like if you guys are like working in the garage, you guys know that I just hooked up Cam with a lot of Kemimoto heated gear. Really good, works really well. The gloves are really nice. Gave him a heated jacket also. But if you're working in the garage, I have another pretty cool item that you may want to check out because like me, um, yeah, just roll it uh, forward. Then you're going to have to roll it back again. Yeah, keep going, I guess. Straighten it out a little bit. Straighten it out. Keep going. Stop. Perfect. But anyway, if you guys are like me that work in the garage, especially in the winter when it's cold, I have another pretty cool item I just want to show you guys. This is uh, Kemimoto. I'm going to trip on all these boxes. <laughs> This is a Kemimoto heated vest. So I wouldn't necessarily like, you can wear this like under, you know, your, your gear as far as going out for a ride. I'm gonna actually use this when I'm in the garage because the garage isn't heated, but I do have a little heater in the office that does keep it warm. I do have like one of those small propane heaters, but if you're in the garage and you're still a little chilly, this definitely is going to be a cool little alternative. You have this battery pack right here, and right there you could see I was just charging at 75%. You know what else is cool about this battery pack? Not only will it, I don't know if you knew this, Cam, for the heated jacket, Kemimoto heated jacket you got, but this will actually heat your jacket, and it will also, you could unplug it and actually charge your phone. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, wow. use it as a, as a battery pack for your phone. So a little survival tip right there. Right. <laughs> but um, yeah, you put it in the pocket and you zip that puppy up right there. And then you put it on. And what's cool about having a vest is it's not really obtrusive. You know what I mean? You could still, you know what I'm saying? If you got to knock somebody out, it's really cool. And let me show you how it works. You actually just hold that button turns on red front and then you could actually turn the front and back on separately and then you're going to have three heat settings you're going to have high medium and low so you got three different heat settings you could throw on the front and throw on the back or just the front or just the back whatever i'm just going to keep it on low but very very light and you know what, if you're working in a cold environment, like in your garage or in a shed, even around your house, I would definitely check this out. All the links are down below in the description and you could check it out to everything. Cam, you, how's your heated gear? Oh, it's great. Yeah, the jacket makes all the difference for sure. I Pretty can, warm, right? Yeah, it kicks in like immediately. You can feel it right away. It's a, it's a huge difference if you do want to ride in the winter, in the cold, from when you have heated gear to if you don't have heated gear. It just makes a world of difference. It's, it's either you're gonna be comfortable or you're gonna be freezing your butt off. Let me close the door here. 
We got, I got a bunch of updates. Uh, Mad Max. I don't really have an update for Mad Max other than it's, uh, I mean, everything's pretty much done to Mad Max, except I do have to, I'm going to stop at the dealer one day to try to get that uh, light off. That light is for the traction control only because I switched out my gauges. I think the dealer will be able to reset. Um, I do not have RDRS. So that light was because this this gauge cluster is from a bike that had RDRS. So I might be able to get that off. But other than that, Mad Max is a beast running great. Huge news on the KTM. I have a company that's going to support the build with a pretty much, I guess, all of uh, the parts for it, the exhaust, KTM power parts. I'm going to let you guys know that probably in the next couple days, once I get everything finalized, but then we'll start, you know, we'll start upgrading the Duke 890R in the garage. So I can't wait for that. Okay, so tell us, what do you got going on? All right, so first up, I think we got to get rid of that inspection sticker. So yes, a lot of people said stage. that. Welcome. Where is that? Yeah, right, yeah, right, right, right there. there. Yeah, you know and and how, how strange, we got... We, you bought the shadow from New York with an yeah, inspection sticker right. and now you bought this one. So this is, this is the second New York inspection sticker we got to take off. Right, right. Just so you guys know, New Jersey does not do motorcycle inspections. New York and other states do. Uh, that's why there's an inspection sticker on it. All right, so take that. What else are we going to do today? We're going to pop off these reflectors here. We don't really need them. Oh, uh, yeah. All the custom dynamics on there, you know? Absol oh, that's... That. All right, so we're going to take the reflectors off. That's a good question. I'm sure everybody wants to know. What, what do you think about the lights? Oh, man, great. Amazing? Absolutely amazing. Yeah, yeah. I took it out the other uh, night, and it's like the range that you see on the road is just so much... And th this guy's been riding, like, literally. I'm not even kidding you. He's been going uh, to school and riding it uh, this past couple weeks, even when it's been, like, in the upper 20s. I'm not joking. <laughs> this guy's hardcore. You know, good for you. But, um, yeah, so he's got the heated gear and stuff. The lighting, excellent, right? Oh, excellent. Yeah, awesome. Makes all the difference. I really like the uh, the look of the running lights on here too. When you got the, yeah. the white LED, uh, you know, when you when you're just riding instead right. of them being like totally shut off like normal, you know, you right, can right, the lights up exactly. There, so it even increases the the range you see at night. The visibility, know? right, right. And then some people were asking, uh, why didn't we do the light bar? Because we're going to wait because those all that wiring has got to go back towards the battery. And I think when we get the bars done for him. We're probably going to have to remove the tank anyway, so I'll just wait until, right, we do that. Oh, man. Jacket getting warm. I mean, vest. <laughs> what else uh, is happening? Tell them. We're going to give it a nice cleanup. You know, I still haven't even washed or waxed it since we picked it up, so I, right. you know, it's, it's overdue for a good clean, you know. Uh-huh. Take care of that. What about... Saddleman, tell them. Tell oh them. yeah, that's that's big news. So we actually do have a saddleman seat coming in the mail pretty soon. Yeah. So that's going to be a whole other video on the channel. Uh, it's going to definitely upgrade the comfort of the ride. Awesome, awesome. All right, yeah, stay tuned. I don't want to tell you guys, spoil his surprise, uh, what he's you know what he's going to get on the bike, but it's definitely going to be a saddleman. Yeah, and I guess uh, Harley Davidson's going to hook him up with some parts. We're going to have to finalize that. Yeah, yeah and see what else but that's what we're going to do today pretty much take the inspection sticker off take the reflectors off of the bike and and then just uh i guess he's just going to detail and go over the bike yeah. but uh bikes how's, how's the bike been running oh it's been running great yeah so nice smooth. yeah really really smooth ride um i've been thoroughly enjoying it <laughs> really how many bad. miles do you put on it already about oh god i gotta say at least 300 oh wow yeah. nice cool yeah Nice and uh, you, you, uh, big difference from from the last oh, bike. Yeah, yeah you sure. like it, right? For sure. Yeah, just way way smoother, especially you know the the responsiveness of the the throttle. Yeah. I think, and it's mainly in the clutch though. I noticed. I don't know. We were trying to adjust the clutch on the shadow, but something must have been uh, off with it because uh -huh. we never got it right. And I feel like I got such a bigger friction zone on the on the clutch on this bike than I do on the shadow. Mm. All right, so this sticker, he did a good job, took that right off. 
And now he's working on the reflectors on the back. Yeah, so a lot of stuff is coming for his bike, which we'll show you guys soon, should be soon. But anyway, the Duke 890R. So gonna be working with a company and we're gonna get a whole bunch of KTM power parts. Um, I'll definitely bring that video to, the, to you guys as soon as the parts start coming in. I'll let you know which company and give you guys the links. If anybody has a KTM, they have, oh my God, they have so many parts, probably one of the biggest distributors of motorcycle parts on the internet. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. But the exhaust is number one, probably the link pipe two, the exhaust, and that's, that's definitely probably some heated grips. We're gonna get definitely some case covers, some case savers, some spools for the back. We'll get a stand, so this way we could stand the bike upright. Hopefully maybe get like, like a little uh, screen for the display, for the TFT display. They have like a cover, like almost like a little windscreen for that. I don't know if I said heated grips yet, but heated grips. I'm gonna see if they have the cruise control. Hopefully we can get that. But there's so many parts, um, so many parts that they have for the KTM line of bikes. It's incredible. So lo really looking forward to start doing some upgrades to this. Uh, what has been done already? Well, the tail tidy, the NR NRC tail tidy has been done. That looks really good. That's in the tucked position. As you guys can see, like you can see the entire back wheel. We, we did the Timu bracket right here. So that allowed us to take off the passenger footrests and brackets on both sides, nice and clean. So now you can see that, that big wheel, that big tire on the back, big Michelin Cup 2 tire. Uh, we did the Moto Gadget uh, high posh aluminum mirrors. They came out really, really nice on this bike. And that's pretty much it. But I mean, this bike comes with all super, super high-end components like the lightweight, lightweight forged wheels, cup two tires, Stylema Brembo calipers, 30 mil, uh, 320 millimeter disc rotors. I mean, list goes on and on. WP Apex front and rear, fully adjustable suspension. This bike is only about 390 pounds. And believe it or not, for 890, about 121 horsepower, this thing absolutely rips. He's doing some elbow grease right there. <laughs> That's what I like to see, baby. As long as it's like above freezing, I, I don't think, honestly, I don't think I'm gonna be doing any, any more ride videos other than probably leaving for Daytona in March. No matter what the temperature is at that time when I'm leaving, I'm still gonna be going down to Daytona for the rally. But having said that, around here, I've been giving you guys uh, several years of cold winter videos. And I, I think I just, I think I'm just, I don't have any more in me um, as far as doing like the really cold stuff, you know, 15, 20, 25 degrees. I think I'm done with those ride videos. So I think I'm gonna put like the threshold temperature uh, at about like 40 degrees for doing ride videos around home in the winter. It's just, like I said, it just takes a big toll on the body and stuff, even though I am pretty comfortable with the heated gear. But when you get off, it's, I'd rather actually be on the bike when it's that cold with my heated gear on rather than being off of it, believe it or not, because at least you're plugged in, you have the heated gear. But once you come off of that bike and you start recording, start recording, vlogging the video off of the bike, you literally start freezing because you're not plugged in anymore. You got your gloves off. You're operating the camera or the drone. It's, it's absolutely horrible. So I think I'm gonna put the, put the uh, pain temperature threshold at about 40 degrees. <laughs> Especially you're on the highway and it's about like 25 degrees. Like uh, last weekend when I, when I did the video to uh, Nadal's house to ride his uh, new motorcycle, it was about 23 degrees in the morning. Man, that's super, super cold. And if you're not geared up for that, that's why I don't recommend it for everybody or for nobody, I should say. It, you know, temperatures that low, you can get yourself into some really, really, really big trouble. Uh, especially if you're in a remote area, you don't have heated gear, 
you're, you're definitely going to run into some problems. Man, and like I said, Mad Max is, uh, she's pretty much done. I mean, there's nothing else, man, I could think of that I could maybe a lightweight swing arm, but that's, that's like really maybe. I mean, the bike, I just love how it came out. I, I, I wouldn't change a thing. Love the carbon fiber BST wheels. Those are absolutely amazing, man. Let me tell you guys, if you could manage to swing uh, that upgrade or maybe get them for Christmas from Santa, I would highly recommend you getting some BST wheels. They made such a difference. And let me tell you, the bike is so much faster. Yeah, obviously the bike's lighter, but removing that rotating mass, man, let me tell you, I can definitely tell that the bike is faster. I, I'm gonna say it probably like, in comparison, I'm gonna have to say probably added like 10 to 15 horsepower, maybe 20, I don't know. It's just, it's just amazing how much faster this, this bike feels with the wheels, how much more nimble and responsive it is, you know, in the twisties coming in and out of a corner, and also the braking, because you got that less uh, rotating mass. So it just made a big, big difference with, with the power plant, with the 128 Screaming Eagle. Um, just made an awesome, awesome difference and love the bike. Love everything that I did to it. Vest is keeping me warm and I would definitely recommend it. Go down below in the description, check out Kemimoto. You could check out the gloves, you could check out their riding jacket. Um, I also have, believe it or not, actually another jacket, a pair of pants, and some, uh, another pair of gloves and a pair of heated socks coming. I'm gonna show you guys all of that, but uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Cam's just about finished. He's got the reflectors off of his bike and he is just doing the elbow grease right now. That's, hard work. Yeah, that's exactly, that's the hardest work, but he's gotta remove that glue. And we'll bring you guys, I just wanted to kind of come on and bring you guys an update. He's got a lot of, a lot of stuff happening to the Dyna. Not so much here, but we got a lot of stuff happening to the Duke 890. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys on the next one. We're just going to chill out in the garage, you know, work on the bikes. See you guys later. Peace out.